Joining us now is Connie Pillich. She's an Ohio State representative. She's a Democrat. She's running for Ohio State Treasurer. Representative Pillich, thank you very much for being with us tonight. Well, I, I really appreciate joining you and letting the world know about the right-wing attacks on women's health in Ohio. Well, you know, Governor Kasich, he could have vetoed these, uh, the abortion amendments in the budget if he had chosen to. He still could have signed the overall budget, but not used the budget to advance all this anti-abortion legislation. Did you expect that he would veto any of them, or do you think he was in on this from the beginning? I think he has very little control of his caucus, frankly, but uh, I never expected him to veto any of the anti-abortion language. He signed bills uh, in the previous General Assembly to restrict abortion access for women. But, of course, the things in this budget are so much worse. As you mentioned earlier, they uh, limit women's access to birth control. They make it harder to get cervical cancer screenings. They insert the legislature in between the conversation of a rape victim and her counselor. And they mandate uh, expensive and unnecessary medical tests on women. It's just atrocious. Was there an advantage for the Republicans in putting this stuff into the budget instead of moving it as normal legislation? They've moved a lot of other anti-abortion measures as standalone legislation, but this ended up in the giant budget bill. Why strategically did they do that? Well, if they had gone through the normal committee process, they, of course, would have been uh, subject to the outrage of women across Ohio, as, as we saw happen last year when women flooded the state house to protest these egregious measures. But to put something as extreme and outrageous as eliminating birth control and cervical cancer screenings, I don't see how that could have survived public scrutiny in any kind of open process. So they had to slip it in. Basically, they used the budget as a dumping ground for all these assaults on women's health. And look, I have been having public meetings in my district ever since I took office, every month since five years ago, and no one has ever once come to me and said, we want you to eliminate birth control. We don't need cancer screenings. We want you to interfere with rape counselors and doctors. No one has ever said this. And I think this is why people are so frustrated with government, because they, they send me to Columbus to work on jobs and education, and what they get is this bizarre right-wing extreme fringe agenda to assault women's health. As, as far as I understand Ohio law, these specific measures can't be put up for recall the way that the union stripping bill was put up for recall a couple of years ago because they are part of the budget. Because of that, because of the way they passed these, they not only avoided scrutiny in getting them into law in the first place, but as far as I understand it, they've, they also have avoided the threat of, of recall here. If that is the case, what happens next? What sort of political consequence uh, did you and other Democrats hope to, hope to meet out in response to this? Well, you're very correct in saying that we cannot uh, exercise our right to referendum on these issues because they're in the budget bill. But going forward, the best bet is uh, for Democrats to take over all the statewide offices. And frankly, that's why I'm running for state treasurer. Connie Pillich, Ohio State Representative, candidate for Ohio State Treasurer. State treasurer thank you for helping us understand this. It's nice to have you here. Thank you. All right.